Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Martin. Welcome to another episode of our £500 challenge on the Trading212 platform. Now as you can see, we have no open positions and we seem to have a positive equity than what we started with. So let's head over uh, to our pending orders. And you can see that actually both of the uh, take profits that I set actually were executed perfectly. Um, so we had uh, two Bitcoins. Uh, at, um, you know that price rose to one four seven four, and we got a nice profit of seventy two pounds with that. And the same with uh, the uh, the pound to the dollar. Again, we bought the lowest amount that we could possibly do, um, and then uh, that also did go up as well. Also, that also both of them were a sell. Uh, both of them was a short position, so it actually went down, um, and that went down to fifty three. Uh, so we had a nice overall profit of about hundred. 130 nearly exactly actually 130 profit uh which is sick i'm very happy with that for the uh for the very first episode um now as you can see the if you see the date of the pending orders you'll see that it was a, a the 7th of the uh 7th of may it's currently the 17th of may so i haven't really touched uh the accounts in a, in a little while just because i've been busy with stuff but i've been getting back into it still been keeping up with the news um i always do keep up with the news so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find some relevant stocks uh, or relevant positions that I could open and we'll see if it's a good fit or not. So I'll be back in a little bit. I'm looking at uh, the Canadian stock to uh, the current price of oil because as we know most of Cana Ca Canada? most of Canada's exports and most of their profits and just most of their like economy in general is derived from uh, the oil industry. They produce a lot of oil. Um, so basically, once oil once the oil price goes up, that corresponds with the uh, Canadian price going up. So I wanted to look at uh, how the pound is faring against the dollar recently. It's currently falling a little bit, but over that it, had, it had, has had a stretch of a uh, fairly positive slash volatile moment. You can see it's gone here from one point was that one point two eight seven rose to the low one point two nines, and it's currently at the mid one point two nines. Has fallen a little bit. Uh, from that from nearly hitting 1.3 which would have been sick um but it has, has hit a bit of a low point it's currently actually gone down from this uh bollinger band here which is very interesting to see um as you can see uh from recent recent uh examples once it hits the bollinger band it tends to it tends to keep on falling so this might actually fall to this level um you know from uh 1.2 Two nine five six my four further say forty or fifty pips, uh, which is very, you know, it, it's not it's not uh, a bad, a bad thing because then it will hit this resistance level and bounce back up. Uh, but that's not what I'm going for at the minute. So let's let's look at how the pound is doing the Canadian dollar now. Let's get our let's get this set up here. As you can see, currently risen a bit. It did come off a bit of a drop from what's this from the the past two days. Was currently at one point seven seven, all the way down to one point uh, seven six. He actually hit the, actually hit the midpoint at one point seven five, which is interesting. But currently grown, and then also should really have this all set up. Also, along with that, oil has also grown recently as well. Um, so I'm going to dig a little bit deeper into the oil industry and uh, see what's happening there. See about the relevant news about the oil industry, and uh, we'll read a little bit about it and make our decision. So you see, it, it keeps on dropping. So there's multiple updates here. Oil drops on rise in US crude inventories. Uh, oil drops again, and again. So let's, let's click on the one of the most one of the more recent ones over four four hours. You see, pr prices fall despite Saudi Russia push for extended cut. So surplus rises in US API crude stocks weight on prices. Rising North Sea US production undermines OPEC lead cuts. Rise in volumes of floating oil storage. Interesting. Um, so, basically, this morning, so six hours ago, it was down 0.4% uh, um, at 51.45. It's currently sat at 51.94. So, we actually missed this section here where we could have made a little bit of profit because I'm not, I wasn't up at like five o'clock this morning because no <laughs> but um but no because of that that means that uh, that probably triggered this little downturn here but again the pound 
is the strongest currency. So even though the the uh, Canadian dollar would have strengthened a little bit because of this, it doesn't mean that, that it would have strengthened the pound. So maybe the pound isn't the best example to look at here. Um, it's currently dropped a little bit. That's very interesting as well. Um, it's actually dropped quite recently for the for what it was. Uh, there hasn't been too many spikes up. You can see, I think it's this might might be a, a indicator of itself leveling. Could be, could be indicator of itself leveling. Um, but now, as as I'm seeing here, people see people uh, people are saying you know despite uh, people pushing for. Uh, but I mean, all these all these stock news websites, they, they just they just throw half facts in your face. Like basically, it's just opinions. It's just a, so it's just a hundred percent opinionated by the person who's like writing it. <laughs> um, like Henning, my man, my man Henning, he's a uh, Henning Gloyston. My man's probably got a strong opinion, so he might be pushing it, way, pushing his way to more maybe the sell side or the buy side, something like that. But um, but Cat of the Japanese Yen is a, is a is an interesting one because I I suppose it, it should technically rebound from where it was. I could just look at a more recent chart. Okay, so it's had a, had a spike there, and then it's currently dropping again. It seems to follow this pattern a lot. Which is a bit. Mm. Um, let's look at a uh, fifteen-minute mark. Yeah, it's following a very distinct pattern. Look, you see, you see the. There's about you know f five or six candlesticks, and then it drops, and that process re repeats, has been repeated for a long time before it had a big drop here. Um, <coughs> and again, this could be because the Japanese yen has become stronger. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Not too sure. Um, let's do let's do some research into, into the Japanese yen. See what's happening with that. Yeah. So um, the yen is currently increasing in price, becoming more stronger because of the political instability inside of the U.S. Now that is probably gonna continue a little bit. Uh, yen the, the Australian dollar drops as risk aversion sweeps the market. Okay, that's interesting. Um, but the British pound unlikely to find a lasting lead in jobless claims. Ooh, that's interesting. Um, compared to the Japanese yen, even though oil has gone up in price, uh, it's gone up in price quite a lot, which means that it's actually at, it's like peak strength, and it could actually fall a little bit more, uh, which would be a negative impact for the Japanese yen. But what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do? So let's, let's look at let's look at the one minute chart. What you can see here, yeah. I'm gonna paste the paint the picture a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick a cell of ooh, ten thousand on the uh on the cat to the Japanese yen. So we want the Japanese yen to become a little bit stronger than it is right now. So that's one of the trades I'm gonna make. Um So we will set our stop loss on that. Again, only a little trade because you know I'm doing this how I would do it with all money. Um <coughs> So we'll set we'll set both of these bad boys, and we'll set it uh, so if it hits around that mark, so we can do that, and then and then that. So it has this has a little bit of leeway to work with. Um, such has a lot of leeway to work with. Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, that's that's what we're gonna we're gonna do for that bad boy. Hopefully that can drop a little bit. Um, Actually, you know what? We should make we should make it a little bit tighter. I think we should make these just a tiny bit tighter. Yeah, that looks better. That looks better. Okay. So, also, what I'm gonna do is uh, with the the power with the dollar becoming a lot more unstable, I'm gonna find the dollar to the pound, or sorry, the pound to the dollar, the other way around. And you see, it's got a little bit a little bit iffy. Um, this chart's not really showing me anything. It's showing me a bit. It's a bit, you know, the data's a little bit iffy. Um, but you see, these two Bollinger bands are actually colliding right now, which is very interesting. Um, could mean they could continue to fall. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a little look, and uh, I'll be back in a minute to see what's happening with it. It doesn't seem to be moving much, and uh, 
looking at the strength index, it's on quite a low from what the uh, what the average is. So I'm actually going to buy into the uh, the pound because the pound um, has potential to become stronger at least for the dollar. It could push for the one the 1.3 mark, and um, alongside that, the dollar is becoming a lot more unstable. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to buy fifteen thousand. So a little, you know, a little bit more higher than what I usually do. Uh, but that's okay. Um, to the margin of a uh, one fifty, they're taking off quite a quite a, quite a big chunk of our margin, and uh, we do have the margin to look into another trade. So I'm gonna I'm gonna look on our um, I'm gonna look on our well, I'm gonna look at the Apple. It took me ages to find that. I don't know why. Um, but the Apple uh, currently. Is uh, down a little bit. Uh, Pre-market was down 0 0.7, um, 0 0.7 pips. Uh, no, sorry, 0.5 percent, 0.71 percent. But over over the course, it has has re has continued to rose quite quite a lot. And uh, if we look at the uh, the earnings earnings session, we can see that um, to 2015, 2016, 2017. Apple reported a second quarter 2017 earnings of two dollar ten per share. Uh, this beat the two two consensus. Nice. And the estimated earnings, the lowest, the, the the mean estimate is one fifty seven. That's quite low from what it's. That's really low from what it's currently saying. So it, it should be able to hit this target. And that's it, the, the first um first time of the tw first quarter of twenty eighteen is pr predicting. 376 which is a lot so obviously the first quarter means a lot so this get probably might give apple a uh, the stock a chance to grow uh, during the third quarter because it doesn't have as much pressure you know um so we're going to we're going to find apple we're going to find apple and we are going to See, see what's happening with the uh, with the stock itself. So let's have a look. See here has you know rose quite a lot uh, in the past hour. Gone from one one four three. Uh, oh no, this is back. This is back in uh, late April. So over the course of few days, it has rose um, by quite a lot. Um, if you see, if you go in ten minutes, it's looking a bit more sporadic, which is very interesting to see. Um, so. I'm gonna stick with the, uh, the the thing of what I just seen. I can't do anything because it's currently closed. That is annoying. Um, but I will make sure to hop onto the uh, to the Apple stock now. But what I'm gonna do is I will hop onto the uh, the buy for the long sell on the, the long sell. To the, I'll hop on long for the Apple Apple stock once it's open because I do believe it can push a lot a lot more than it has been recently. It's been quite volatile, so I think it's time for a bit more of an upsurge. And with what I've seen from a lot of stuff I've read and uh, a lot of analysts' views on it, I do think it has the uh, potential to grow a bit more. So I'm definitely going to hop onto that in. So I'm going to hop into that in about two hours' time, which is all cool. So if you did enjoy, make sure you like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below of what things you want me to trade and what I should look into and if you think these trades are good, what I'm making now. But like I said, make sure to check out the uh, books in the description below. Subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys a bit later. Make sure to have a nice day, stay safe and peace.